Hi, my name is Tristan Todd. I'm a reference architect with the End User Computing Group at VMware. Today I'm going to share six tips for a successful VUE install and configuration. Uh, the first tip is to deploy VUE on a world-class hypervisor like vSphere. All of your infrastructure and monitoring machines should be running as virtual machines to give you flexibility, protection, resiliency. Another tip would be to segregate your desktop and server virtual machine workloads on separate compute and storage platforms. Tip number three, adhere to install and configuration guides published by VMware and our partners. Uh, we spend a lot of time on these guides and we uh, put a lot of practical advice in there. And we hope that our customers uh, read these uh, resources and abide by them when doing an installation. It is a fundamental requirement when you run VUE to have your vSphere environment well built, consult all of your vSphere best practices, uh, make sure that you're staying within the configuration maximums, for instance, make sure that your host uh, security settings are consistent across an entire cloud. Cluster. Get vSphere right and view is much easier to support in a predictable fashion. It's a great recommendation to uh, tune and optimize your desktop images. Uh, VMware publishes a number of optimization guides and scripts that can take your virtual desktop image and optimize it for a VDI setting. This is important. Uh, things like superfetch and prefetch technologies work great in Windows 7 on a physical desktop but can take down a VDI environment. My final tip is to really understand your use cases, understand your users, their requirements, understand the application profiles, the resource requirements, uh, average workload requirements, peak averages, uh, any bursts that occur uh, to things like week end or uh, month end processes. Understand those before you actually dive into a view deployment so that you can get your view environment to deliver what your users and what your stakeholders need. So with that, I hope these tips uh, help you be successful in installing and configuring VMware View. Thanks for watching.